Hi everybody, Stefan here from EDC Austria and today I want to show you the menu number 8 from a Canadian IMP. IMP stands for Individual Meal Packet and this one is the menu number 8 from, from a 2014 ration. We have early 2018 now, but it should still be good. As you can see here, I bought this at foreign MIE, but it still is the first Canadian ration I've ever seen myself too. So <clears throat> I'm not sure what we are gonna see. I haven't had one of those yet. Okay, the inner layer is filled out with some light foil, metal foil, and then just to show you, you can see one of the main cartons is here, the other one on the other side and the rest is held in between. Now let's check it out. First we have our dessert which is a fruit cocktail. Then we have here some raspberry jam. Here is a box of matches. Here is Frank's Red Hot. I doubt I'll be needing that because I can't really eat spicy things. Here's a Nescafe, which I heard is a nice one for coffee drinkers. Here we have uh, chicken rice, which is only, you only have to add hot water to this, which is quite easy to make and we'll make that together with the main. Here is the famous Canadian beverage bag which can stand on its own. We will try that out. Here we have two lime drinks. They are each I think for 250 milliliters of water which is about a cup for you Americans each. Here we have a soldier fuel bar. The peanut butter variant. It's kind of the first strike bar you get in the American MIEs. Here you have some tea whitener. Here is something that's been missing in American MIEs. This is some nice tea. I would like to have it instead of the coffee you sometimes get. I would like both. Here are two mints, which I suppose are to help with your teeth after eating. Here we have some peanut butter. Feels pretty good. Here we have some tortillas. Wow, so far the only thing to put on them is raspberry jam and peanut butter. That will be very interesting. Here we have some regular sugar. Here we have a napkin, non-sanitary and the famous long Canadian spoon. Doesn't feel too sturdy but will manage. Okay, that's it. And now, and finally, we have the main, which is wheel cutlet with mushroom sauce. Here you can look at the nutrition facts if you're interested in those. And let's open it up right away to see what we're dealing with here. Okay, we have a regular pouch, place unopened pouch in pan of boiling water, return water to boil and heat for five minutes. Remove pouch, open at notches and serve. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. I'll get a tray and see you back here. Okay, now I've put the important stuff on the tray and the first thing I think we're gonna do is to put 
hot water in the rice as we are instructed. I always hate these fill lines when they don't exactly tell you how much because there's never a line on the inside where you are actually pouring the liquid. Okay, that seems enough. Now mix. And close and keep closed for eight minutes. And of course I already managed to pressure some out. The next thing that interests me is the lime drink and since I'm not feeling well, by the way I will do a video about my health situation very soon for those who have been asking. I will try to do that this week, but I will not bother here with the beverage bag for mixing. I'll just put it in a glass of water and mix it with a spoon, should have the same reaction. Now let's un unpack our dessert. They just put the same label on everywhere, so be sure to cook the right thing and don't mix them up. Okay, the drink looks about ready. Let's check that out. Still tastes very artificial, but a bit better and less artificial than the American one. It actually just has a slight taste of lime and isn't as obtrusive as the American kind of is sometimes. It depends on my daily mood if I, if I can take an American drink or not. Sometimes they are a bit hard to get down. Okay, so before we continue here, it's best we, we get on to heating our main. But as for our main, you can imagine I will do this as always in a flameless ration heater. Sadly, the Canadian IMP didn't come with one, so I have to provide my own. Some people ask me why I do that instead of boiling it in the kitchen. Well, honestly, even five minutes standing in the kitchen waiting for it to be ready is a bit too much for me at the moment. And I'm not even kidding about that, which is the sad thing about that. Okay, we are finally ready here. Okay, that's done. Sorry, I'm not those people who put everything on the table and then take two bites of the stuff. I don't have too much extra money, so I want to eat everything I make here. So that's, oh, this one is going very well, the heater and I'm eating everything, so that's why I film it apart, because I only can eat a bit at a time. Now that we have to wait, oh no, let's do that after the mains. Now let the rice, the rice should be ready soon. No, best we take out the rice. Let's, let's see how it's looking now. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It can fit here.
This is chicken with rice. Mm -hmm. That's actually quite tasty. Honestly, from how it smelled before, I didn't expect that. It says rice, but the rice is incredibly short. I mean the rice grains or however it's called. I never had such short rice before. But really, this is a nice, maybe you're supposed to eat it with the main, but I rather have a bit before so that my stomach gets ready to eat the main lunch or dinner in my case today. And see, let's get the rest from this and eat it. Although I think I should leave a bit for the main course because otherwise it might get boring just the veal cutlet in some sauce. Okay, I'll talk to you again when the main is finished. Okay, we are ready here. I don't often eat veal and if I do, not in cutlet form, but still, this being a Canadian MRE, I am expecting a bit. Because it's easy to win me over if I already expect nothing from it, like in a bad movie or so, when everybody says it's bad. I'm prone to liking it more if it's halfway decent. But in this case, I am expecting a lot, so it will be even harder for the meal to impress me. Let's see if we can open that without some... No, it's funny they have scissors marked on there. I wonder how many soldiers run around with scissors. Wow, that's quite a lot. There are some nice pieces. They seem tender or two. Let's check one out. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's even better than expected. Because they are in a, in a sauce, I thought maybe too much of the mushrooms that are in here. Because this is with champignons, but Actually, the, the taste of the wheel comes through very well and it just tastes great. The only thing missing, in my opinion, is, ra is salt and pepper. You, you need that. If, no matter how you season it in the beginning, some people want to have a bit more. And if it's not contained in this package, then I suppose they won't have it in others either. Like the British, they have sugar like four times, but no salt. What's the problem about salt? In the Americans give salt, but no pepper, which is fine by me. But at least salt is something you should always give. We are soldiers here. Let's take a big piece with champignon. I don't know if you never have eaten wheel it's just like beef just finer and it virtually melts on your tongue it's that great but still i rarely eat it but when i do i enjoy it and if you get served that at a restaurant you are very happy and that's that's in general for rations if you want to buy one check the menus up front you find all the info on MAE info and so on that you are sure which menu you buy or on foreign MAE they have everything listed so that you buy something you also like. Okay, I'll finish this here and then we come back for the soldier fuel and the tortillas, the peanut butter and the raspberry jam. Talk to you right away. So, what I forgot to mention was, of course, the fruit salad. And since I eat everything and can only eat a little bit now because I'm still full from the main, I'll put this in a small bowl so I can put it in the fridge after filming.
and this is just a, a regular fruit mix you probably know all from the tin cans. These are usual grape and orange and two cherries or something like that. Yep, oh that one's gone over to the dark side actually. That's what that one's been fermenting a bit. Okay, I noticed a bit late, but this one I can throw away. 2014, let's see what day most of them were made. 2013 at the end of, okay. Well, then let's open our tortillas. that they look a lot like the American ones also size wise let's take a bite plain oh yeah very familiar the slightly sweet taste of the American tortillas then let's take some raspberry jam make a nice amount of it That's very good jam, very non-artificial tasting, not too sweet, not too processed, I like it. And then finally with our tortilla, we have our peanut butter, so let's put some of that on there. Okay. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly, what can I say? always a winner but the uh, canadian peanut butter even though it's made by an american company is actually more tastes a bit stronger than the american one which is weird if you think about it let's check out the soldier fuel bar like i said should be very comparable to a first strike bar. Also in its consistency. Yeah, let's take a bite. I'm sorry if I'm not very descriptive today, but this really tastes like your run-in-the-mill energy bar with a bit of peanuts thrown into it. There's nothing else to tell. It's just compressed a lot of glucose syrup is in there bit of peanut butter and a lot a lot of artificial stuff i will see now how our lime tastes after over an hour still tastes nice and fresh very nice okay then we just have to finish off with one hour of our mints. Here you see the mint. Yeah, that's not even too strong, but very, very nice and minty. All in all, the Canadian IMP is a full winner in my book. You get a bit more than you get in your average American MRE, first with the serving size, it's 250 milligrams against 227. And usually you don't get such a large side dish as here with the fruits. Too bad they were ruined. Also then still added the tortillas. Very nice, very nice. But comparable to the American one, I think also calories wise but if you can get them best check them out if you live in the united states you best get them from foreignmre.com okay that's it for now if you like this video and want to be informed if new videos come out please subscribe then you always see new videos on your subscription timeline if you like this video please give me a thumbs up 
And if you have anything to say, good or bad, please leave a comment in the comment section. Have a great day. Bye bye.